Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. Our text today is a classic. It's the Kuzari by Rabbi Huda Halevi. And I'm using the Matsuda translation. Um, in fact, the Kuzari was written originally in Arabic and then translated into Hebrew. And this is an English translation of that Hebrew translation. It might be better to have a direct from the Arabic translation, but this is what happens to be on my bookshelves. And that's what we get in this series. Um, Raul Alevi was a, another remarkable figure. He lived in Spain, born about 1095, dies in 1150. And uh, he lived in the golden age of Spain and was a philosopher and poet and rabbi. Towards the end of his life, he becomes dissatisfied with life in Spain, religiously, and he goes to the land of Israel. And by legend, he dies just as he approaches the walls of Jerusalem. He can see Jerusalem, but doesn't quite make it there. So a sense of yearning and longing, really, uh, even to the end of his life. This is a very important philosophical work of the medieval period. We have, of course, Maimonides, a very important philosopher, but this is a different philosophical take on some of the most important issues. And I want to share and unpack one idea. He talks about the spiritual within the material, and he says this. Our objective in understanding the actuality of God is to recognise that there is no such thing as a pure natural cause, but that the divine force operates in every so-called natural occurrence, as described by Galen. So he quotes the important Greek philosopher and scientist Galen, and he says this, don't believe that when you drop a ball onto the ground, it falls because of a natural force called gravity. There's no such thing as a natural force. The ball falls because God wants it to fall. Now, it's true that we see that repeated and it's consistent and it's predictable, and we call it gravity. And God may well have wished that gravity should operate in that way. But each time the ball falls, it's not because some sort of natural, so-called natural force is being exerted. It's because God wants it to take place once again. The same is true of all natural phenomena in the view of Halevi. For example, when the sun rises, when it sets, that's not because that's just what the sun does or the earth does. It's because God wants the sun to rise and God wants the sun to set. God is involved in every moment of the so-called working of the natural order. Now, this became very important in the, in the 18th century because when scientists came along and said the world runs by itself, the world simply operates according to natural laws. Important rabbis and others said, no, there are these natural laws, these natural functions or processes. They can be predicted and understood. But don't forget or don't ignore the fact that God is behind each one of them. And every time this force called gravity exerts its power, it's not because it's independent of God. It's because God wants gravity to work in that way. It's an important idea all the way through the centuries, but expressed here very succinctly and powerfully by Yudha Levi in his Kuzari. Thank you for joining.